going to go to the hot thing. Good thing. Good thing. Cooper, Cooper found another big old honker. This is a penny button. Alright, back at home now. Hey, what's up guys? Yo, what up? We're up here, back up in the mountains. It's about porcini season, so... Beautiful summer day. We thought we'd come up here and bring you along. And what's cool is, right when we pulled up to the, to the spot we usually park at, we looked, came over here. Cooper actually spotted this one. That big old bun, penny bun. Just right out the car. Just the first first minute we were here, Cooper spotted this this nice size porcini. And then I, right over here, I looked over here, seen one popping up. We already both found one. Bam. So just right off the bat, we're... Hey, we ain't getting skunked today. <laughs> filling our bag. So we'll bring you along on the rest of the journey and see how many we find today. So stay tuned. So we might as well. Time to pick this first one. It's been up for a few days. Yeah, it's got some. It's already starting to yellow. It's definitely got some spore starting up. Does it look any? Looks good yellow? to me though. Like, I don't see any. Maybe there. Maybe yeah. there. Maybe a few bugs, but, but it's pretty good. Nothing too crazy in the stem. Still definitely edible. Heck yeah. Right on. And might as well come over here and pick this. See, this one looks like it's been up for like a day, maybe a day or two. Yeah, that's a nice fresh one. This one's the it's ideal the size right sweet. here. Sweet popper. It's a textbook oh, yeah. sweet popper. That's a textbook sweet popper right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome, man. Just right out of the truck, too. We were literally just getting ready to back in right there. <laughs> we are kind of cl clearing some debris right here, and Cooper spotted that big one. Which you know has. And so yeah, just right out of the truck. You don't start start better than that. So we're just gonna park, gear up, and uh head off into the woods. See, and it's always a good idea to as soon as you pick them is just kind of clean them up real quick. That way you don't, you don't dirty up the rest of the mushrooms. Keep your bag clean. We kind of made that mistake the first year. Yeah. Makes processing yeah. a lot harder. Yeah. All you do is just kind of just peel them like a potato, a real thin layer where the dirt's grown out of them. And that's about it. Maybe if you have a brush, brush them off. All right, so we, we came across our little hawk wing spot that we usually find some at. And I'm gonna try them out this year. Sure enough. <clears throat> this one looks nice and young. So not too uh, chewy. And they are edible. It's just we. We usually do come across these when we're hunting King Bolites and we just always kind of leave them behind. But this year we're going to try them out. Looks like a nice freshie. Mmm, smells yummy. Mushroomy. So, I mean that's good, in case, just in Probably case we poor, don't find any more uh, King Bolites. Kind of staining a little bit. Staining? Uh, staining. Oh. But not too much, like just kind of graying a little bit. So that's yep. and there's another one. Where is it? Another one coming up. A little baby there, we'll leave alone. We heard it's good to pick the younger ones with these, else they kind of get kind of like tough and leathery the older they get. So I mean these are probably perfect size, nice and young. And yeah, hawk wingies. We're finding mushrooms today. Look at now Cooper. That Cooper found another big old honker. Is a penny bun, and she's got some neighbors too. It's a little old. It's probably been a few days. Yeah, there's some bugs crawling on it. It's definitely still a little flies. Eatable. If we're still eatable, I'll dry it out at least. 
Yeah, a lot of these. A lot Get of these, me, bud. A lot of these older ones are good to like dry out and make rub, like some porcini rub out of. I like to just rehydrate the dried into my ramen, make some heady gourmet ramen noodles. It's a pretty nice one. Oh, and, yeah, then, and then there's a few down here that we spotted. These ones have been up for a while too. Oh, these ones are old. These, these have probably been up for like a week or so. Oh shit. Definitely. Maybe just leave those to spore out. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave those ones to spore out. And then I spotted one over here. Yeah, this one feels definitely feels fresher. So I think I'll I think I'll harvest this one. Ooh, yeah, that looks nice. Oh, that was nice. Oh, there's like some baby ones growing off of it. That's pretty cool. This one's nice and fresh, man. And there's like two little baby ones, kind of like growing. Growing from it. Mm, I can't tell if that's a cool. Amanita or a so yeah, there's a better look at this one cleaned up. Has two little baby ones growing along with it. And they kind of formed together. This one's heavy. This probably weighs like a pound just right here. So yeah, let's put it put it in the sack. I already have probably have a good pound in there. We're just barely in our first hour. Well, found a little baby puffball. I just leave that. Yeah, it's nice and moist out here. Seeing many different species of mushroom. Perfect time to come look. Yeah, this little bag's already getting heavy. Probably feels like three or four pounds already. We're still probably just in the first hour that we arrived. Getting bit up by mosquitoes though. And we forgot the bug spray. So that's not good. But it's worth it though. It's worth it. Oh, I think Cooper just found a found some found a king bullet. Heard him yelling off in this area. Oh yeah, it's a nice little cluster. Oh yeah, oh, yeah those are perfect. That's what I like to see. Nice little baked rolls. Ah, oh, cool. A little double take. Perfect size, probably guaranteed no bugs. Right. Once they get that little baked roll top and a nice little lip, they're, they're, they're good to go. We're just seeing a ton of these little purple, purple flowers everywhere. I guess you could take it as being a good indicator plant to finding porcinis. Cause they are everywhere. So usually when we start finding these king bolites, we're usually like in a heavy, heavily populated blue spruce area, mm -hmm. which which we are right now. See, there's a bunch, bunch right here, bunch, one over there by Cooper. That's usually like the first like good indicator. 
sign of someone harvesting right here. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, we're definitely looking in an area that already got picked. But we're still finding them, so they're they're missing a lot. But anyhow, good good place to, to start is look for some blue spruce. Definitely. And they're usually up around like start around like the 9,000, 10,000 feet range. They're right by the roof. But they're but they're aren't the bullets like symbiotic with the spruce trees? They are. Yep. So it's, it's usually where we find them, well, at least the majority of them. Just looking at this tree butt here. Get your balls off my tree. Just found this interesting species right here. Not sure what it is. Kind of looks like a russula. Has some gills. Yeah, might be. If you know what it is, tell me in the comments below. Looks like Coop found uh, another fresh little hawk wing. It's a good size. Looks nice and fresh. We're finding them. Some weight in the pan. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit, I already got like, probably like close to three or four pounds right here. I'd say four pounds. It's getting pretty heavy. Oh, there's something over here. like a brown puffball. There's a bunch of mushroom activity going on over here. We're right by this water. A little swamp over there. Those are the ones I won't mess with. That one right here. Uh, I think this might be too far gone. I don't know. It's got That's some little something right there. There's stuff over on that stump right over there. Yeah, I've seen some of those. That one's not good. Oh, like, no. uh, kind of wormy. You definitely have some worms. Maybe the cap's good. It's pretty cool. I came across this little wild strawberry patch. There's actually some growing on there. Turning red. Oh, nope, there's strawberries. A bunch of them too. Just growing all over. There's little red vines everywhere. Pretty cool. I'll pick a couple to eat. A nice little cluster right there. Nice mountain meadow we found. Opened up real nice. Kind of just stopping doing spot checks. Scouting new spots. This one, not so much. This one, not so great. All right, we're towards the end of the, our mission. Thought we'd pull over and Try a couple more spots. Looks like Cooper found some more. Yeah, I got some more leaves. One right sideways here. Sideways one. It's kind of weird. It's going sideways. Found some more mushies. Sideways bullet. Nice little cluster over here. Yeah. Well, it was worth it. Just use it more around. Big. Oh, 
satisfying pull. It's kind of old though. Yeah, well, that's pretty. Not bad though. Not too bad. Cool, if you're still finding them. Mm -hmm. Alright, here's what we ended up with. See, we got some. See, we've got a good about, what? Maybe eight, eight pounds of porcini. Pounds of hawk wing, maybe two. A couple of pounds of hawk wings. So all in all, it was a good day. Found a bunch more hawk wings, but we didn't really want to harvest all those. Yeah, I mean, we just, we just kind of want to take some to try out. But, but yeah, we'll probably come back another maybe next week and see if we could find some more because we're supposed to get more rain up here. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Catch you on the next one. All right, back at home now. It was a great hunt. Uh, had fun out there. Found a lot. Found a lot of fresh porcini. And now it's time to put them to put them to work. So I'm going to do a simple omelet now. Just going to be some fresh porcini, salt and pepper, a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese. Yeah, these are really fresh too. No, no bugs at all. Look at that. All right, we got them all diced up now. Just gonna start sauteing them with a little, little olive oil. Got a little bit of salt and pepper, and that's about it. The pepper, there's the salt. around oh yeah it's starting to smell good nothing like fresh pochini all right the simmering First, they're going to release a lot of moisture. So it's going to get a little, seem like it's getting a little soupy in there, but just keep keep simmering away and eventually it'll eventually fry off all that moisture. We're looking to get them like a nice golden, golden brown. Give them a good stir. Just keep going. Alright, so while these pork cheese are simmering, let's go ahead and start cracking these eggs and getting this omelet ready. And I'm going to add just a little bit of salt and pepper to the eggs as well. Just a 
なのでAnd I like to add a little, just a little bit of milk to my omelet. Makes it just a little bit more fluffy. And just try to beat the eggs real well. And nice and fluffy. Alright, and that's what that whole mushroom simmered down to. So we're about ready to throw in the, the egg to complete this omelet. Nice golden brown. Alright, now we're just going to pour in the egg. Porcini's are nice and nice and golden brown. Just gonna turn up the heat just a tad. Get this cooking good. All right, it's been slow simmering for a while. It's almost just about ready. So now I'm gonna throw in some some shredded Parmesan cheese. Finish the cooking process. Good, good healthy amount. I'll probably do it right there. And just let it finish cooking for a few more minutes and try to flip it. with any of but this is the tricky part just trying to flip it over on itself there we go come out too bad I turn off the heat now just let it kind of cook on the residual heat I flip it once more after about a minute and it should be good all right let's give it one more flip if I could do this without breaking it <laughs> it wants to fall apart let's see let's get it from this angle there we go All right, the heat's shut off and it's just cooking on the residual heat that's left over. Yeah, it's a porcini omelet. Simple ingredients, salt, pepper, olive oil, fresh porcini and, and five eggs and a little bit of milk. I'm about ready to stick a fork in this. All right, there it is. It's the finished product. Let's slice that baby open. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. I like when the outside's a little, a little burnt like that, a little charred. Let's try it out. Inside is nice and moist, moist though. Look at that. Nice porcini right there. Let's try some of this out. Got a nice 
piece of porcini right there. Let's try it out. Mm. I definitely taste the porcini. Mm, pretty good. Nice saltiness of the Parmesan cheese. Mm, came out great. Let's try one more. One more little. Little gooey piece right here with some porcini. Yeah, let's try that out. <laughs> A little hot. Mmm. That is great, man. Mmm. Never tried porcini out, I highly recommend it. It's not your average mushroom. It's a gourmet mushroom and it's a reason why they're they're expensive when you do find them. They really taste good. Porcini omelet. Well I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for coming along. I want to give a shout out to Coop Dog coming along with me on this adventure and thank you guys for coming along on me coming along with me on this adventure and uh and yeah till the next one guys signing off thanks